I need a caffeine buzz. I'm so tired right now. I drank an energy drink and coffee. Don't mind my house right now, okay? It's a freaking disaster. And that's because we said fuck cleaning. We're going to the pool today. Yep, so I took my toddler. I can't even speak English. I took my toddler to the pool this morning. We went swimming for a few hours. We came home around two o'clock, so I put her down for a nap. It is now currently 3.05, and today is July. What the fuck is today? I don't know where my phone is. Wait, yeah, I do. I think I do. Where the fuck did my phone go? All I can figure out is this goddamn couch ate it. Well, Monday was the fourth, right? The fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. It's possibly the eighth. I might be wrong because I'm just a chaotic mess. Okay, that's just my life. That's just me. That's who I am. So last night I started Flawless by Elsie Silver. I wanted to do a little written vlog talking about this book because everybody loves this book. And everybody says this makes them want to be with the cowboy. Save a horse, ride a cowboy, you know what I'm saying? I'm on chapter five. So far, I really love Summer's character. I'm just really like vibing with her. Yeah, that's all I really have to say since I'm only on chapter five. Hang on, how many pages is that? Oh my God, I'm shaking like a crack war because I drank so much caffeine. Page 53. So I'm gonna read for a little bit. My child will probably be up shortly. I'm hoping she takes a good nap, but honestly, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. She's probably gonna wake the fuck up as soon as I start reading, but my boyfriend is home. So he is gonna give me a much needed mommy break because because I think they never cut the umbilical cord when I gave birth to her. <laughs> I promise I love her and I love spending time with her, but sometimes you just need a fucking break, okay? And she's like very whiny and clingy right now. I think she has some teethers coming in, so life is just really kicking my ass right now if I'm being 100% honest with y'all. I'm gonna try to read, but lately when I read, I fall asleep. It's happened to me so many times lately. I don't know why, but I'm one tired bitch, okay? So yeah, let's get into reading this and then I'll update y'all, you know. You know how it goes. You know, you've been here, you know. Hopefully I don't have a double chin. Honestly, the camera is so far away and I don't have my glasses on, so if I do, just deal with it. Oh my god, these books are stiff as fuck. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. Trigger warning. But I like a nice and... You know, men are so fragile. Honestly, truthfully, fact. So I'm on chapter six. So far, I really want to know what Summer's background story is because just little bits and pieces of things that she said has me very curious to know how she grew up. And I'm just really loving the family dy dynamic in the house, in the cowboy's house, Rhett. If you don't know what this book is about, it's a small town romance, enemies to lovers. This girl, Summer, is going to be an agent for this bull riding guy. Her dad is his agent officially, but Summer has to be be like his babysitter in a sense. He's just making some bad decisions and it's getting him in a lot of trouble publicly. Summer's dad assigns her to Rhett Eaton and she has to basically babysit this motherfucker for two months. Obviously, they're in forced proximity, they're living in the same house, we all know how this is gonna go. I'm sure you've heard of this book, it's literally all over TikTok right now, so. So far I'm loving it. I'm gonna go read some more, I'll check back in in a little bit. Hi. It is like hours later, okay? Last time I checked in with you, it was like three something. Now it is 10.03. I may have taken a nap. I tried my best, I really did, to stay up and read, but when my daughter takes a nap, there's a 95% chance I'm gonna take a nap as well. Mm -hmm. And especially because we went to the pool and mama was tired. I was playing with her in the water and stuff, you know, just all that mom shit. So I'm pooped. I'm exhausted. Not anymore though, because I took a nap. So now I'm ready to fucking read, bitch. So let's let's get to it. I got to page 94, chapter eight, I believe. Trying to do this with one hand. Yeah, chapter eight. So I can't really say much because I really only read like three chapters from when we last talked. I'm trying to decide if I want to read on my Kindle or if I want to read the physical book. I think I'm going to read on the physical book for a little bit and then I'll switch over because that's normally what I do. And I'm going to try to keep you all updated. At some point, I know my boyfriend will be coming to bed, but he took a NyQuil, so I'm hoping his ass just, you know, knocks the fuck out so I can sit here and chat with y'all. But 
Who knows? Honestly. I am honestly really enjoying this book a lot more than I thought I was going to. I know some people said they didn't like the author's writing, but I love it because it's just easy and I'm a dumb bitch. So easy book stuff for me. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. I also feel like this might have a little bit of grumpy cowboy, sunshiny girl, but I don't feel like summer is very sunshiny. Kind of is, kind of is it. I don't know. We're gonna get to reading and I'll update y'all if I have some thoughts, okay? We're gonna just read together. I'm just gonna set you up on my nightstand. Wait, do I set you up on my nightstand? No, I'm gonna set you up on my dresser. I don't know why I'm talking in an accent. I don't know. Can you see me back here? I'm eating it up. I am only 104 pages in. We aren't very far, but I'm loving the dynamic. It is a grumpy sunshine kind of thing. And I love that every chapter starts out with text messages. And she just said, I'm whatever you want me to be. And he said, that's a dangerous thing to say. Okay, I see, I see the hype. The gym scene right now, I'm eating it up. Look at my cheeks. I'm blessed. I love it. I'm invested to say the least, okay? Why is this book making me want to work out right now? Bitch, you never work out a day in your life. You would die. I would die. I would simply die. But I want to be a bad bitch like Summer. My toxic trait is I just make myself the main female character of every book I read. <laughs> he said, I think about how bad a chicken farm smells to keep from getting a boner. <laughs> That's funny. What is it about books where men call women lovely? Like, I don't feel like there's no better compliment. If you call me lovely, it's game over. Okay, so my camera battery... So my camera battery only has two bars left and I'm too fucking lazy to get out of bed to go get the charger. So, I'm gonna continue reading. I will come back hopefully later tonight, but you know me, y'all. I don't normally read and then I'll fall asleep reading. Like, I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I'm on chapter 10. So far, I'm eating this shit up. Love them. I love Summer and Rhett. I will maybe see you later tonight and maybe see you tomorrow. I don't know yet. So, so far, I'm in my cowboy era, if you will. I will say the writing is very easy, but honestly, I love books that, like, I don't have to think too hard. Because sometimes, I'm just trying to escape the real world. Real world, bitch. I can't even talk English. Why did I sound Irish? It's getting weird. I'm gonna go back to reading. Hi, me again. So I just read the first like bull riding scene and I'm about to expose the fuck out of myself. But when I was younger, I would say about like 10, maybe nine, I was fucking obsessed with cows. I don't know why, but I loved cows. And I thought I was a country girl, even though I was not, I was not. I was born in a suburb, raised, born in a suburb? No, raised in a suburb, like a neighborhood. But I thought I was a cow girl. And I would watch bull riding like fucking bull riding on TV. I don't know why, but it's like fueling that inner child in me that loved bull riding. <laughs> like I'm just, it, I'm picturing it in my head like I would w be watching TV. What I have to say is I'm having a grand fucking time, okay? I'm loving this, eating it the fuck up. I'm just loving it. I'm loving Rhett and Summer's dynamic because they're just, <laughs> I'm loving it. I didn't think I was gonna love it, but I'm loving it. That's really all I had to say. I had to come in here and just let you know. I just watched him, not watched him, I just read about him riding the bowl. It was so fucking good. I'm loving this book so far. <laughs> like, I don't wanna stop reading, so I'm gonna go back to reading. Peace, y'all. See you in a bit. I was gonna put on my glasses, but they're fucking filthy, and I'm not getting up to fix that problem. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop talking in a British accent tonight. It's seriously a problem. So as you can see, I am in bed. I am showered. I just, I was gonna shower tomorrow, but I was like, girl, I feel disgusted after sweating and being outside all day today, most of the day. I'm in my PJs, I did my skincare, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm ready to read, okay? Don't know how much I'll read tonight because I do need to get some sleep. Last night I stayed up way too fucking late. Reading, I stayed up till like midnight. Not a good idea, but I was trying to get halfway before today started, but I got halfway anyway, so now I feel like a champion. Yeah, I'm gonna just go read. Probably not gonna record myself reading because this video is gonna be long as fuck if I record myself reading every single time. I just wanted to check in with y'all and let you know I am ready to read. 
ready to put on a reading marathon, bitch. Am I gonna read out of the book? Probably not. I think I'm gonna read on my Kindle, turn off my lamp over here, and just relax because mama needs some sleep before we go have another lake day all day tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be even longer because we're literally going all day. So that's gonna be great. That's gonna be so much fun. So um, I'll check in with y'all if any shit happens or goes down, okay? Hi guys, so it is currently Sunday, July 9th at 8.03 and I didn't vlog anything or record anything today because I didn't read at all. Um, but we went to the lake because my parents rented a campground, like a camping site. Okay. Yeah, we just took all the kids out there, we played, we splashed around in the water, we had a grand time. I'm pooped very very pooped my child had me up at 6 30 this morning like who the fuck does she think she is she's in the wrong house let me tell her that now it's time to unwind for the night i'm gonna read some of my book i don't have the physical book in here wait do i i don't know if that's no that's be true but i do have my kindle which is i prefer to read on my kindle when i'm in bed it's comfortable to read like that also i need to fix my stickers they're all kinds of book too i'm on chapter 27 75% through i have two hours and 13 minutes left in this book honestly i could probably finish this tonight I, that's my goal i want to finish this tonight i'm just i'm eating this shit up like i want to lick the pages of this book right eaten y'all already know i'm obsessed like i want to i want a cowboy so bad i'm just loving it i love it here i love it here in chestnut springs so I'm gonna just read, I'll probably film myself reading because I feel like I haven't done that in a minute. But also, I don't wanna make this video super long. I think I'm just gonna do the first two books in the Chestnut Springs series for this video because I do have them. If you guys want the other two, I can do a video of myself reading those. And yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey y'all, fancy meeting you here. I was totally gonna film today. Like, 100% was going to film today. It was, today's Monday the 10th of July. I was gonna film, I really was. But if you can't tell, I'm sick. I have like a cold. Who the fuck gets a cold in the summertime? Me, bitch. Me and my kid have a cold. I believe we got it from my boyfriend, like always. So last night was rough as fuck. Rough as fuck. Uh, she did not sleep till t midnight and woke up multiple times throughout the night. So I am exhausted and she did not want to take a nap. I think it's because she's so congested. Congested? that like when she lays down it's like she feels like she can't breathe anyways so that's why i'm just now showing my face at nine o'clock at night however i did finish flawless and i gave it five stars i fucking loved it i ate it up like honestly loved it so much that if i could snort the pages i would have because i was obsessed like i couldn't stop flipping and like reading it like i just it was so great like it were it was worth the hype for me like y'all really hyped that up on tiktok and everything it was so worth it for me so i just started book number two heartless and i'm really excited for this one because it's a single dad trope and i just feel like i'm gonna be weak in my knees for daddy kate so this one's about kate and willa and if you read heartless obviously or heart flawless damn i always want to call flawless heartless i don't know why but if you read the first book you'll know willa is summer's best friend and kate is rhett's brother yeah that's how it works and this book is about Cade, obviously. He's a single dad who is working full-time at the ranch. He raises his son basically by himself, and he needs to find somebody to help him take care of his son because he just can't, like, his family can't help him out. Everybody's busy. They have their own lives. So he needs to find somebody to help him. So Summer has the bright idea of saying, well, I have somebody. Obviously, Cade's grumpy as fuck. We know from the first one, so he is very particular about who is going to watch his son. I mean, I can't blame him. So he gets a nanny and he can't keep his eyes off this bitch you know how it goes you know how it goes the nanny trope i low-key this shit up too i'm probably gonna be devouring this book i also did get the audiobook which i'm always hype about because i feel like when i get the audiobooks of books i always read them faster and get through them faster obviously because it's just easy to pop an earbud in and go about my day as beat them up so i'm on chapter seven i really enjoyed it 
I mean, honestly, I'm having a good time. I don't feel like I'm as obsessed, but I am only like, how many pages am I in? Only 66 pages in, so maybe a little bit farther. Actually, I think I read this chapter. I think I'm on chapter eight, actually. Maybe I'm even farther than chapter eight. Honestly, couldn't fucking tell you. Bitch, I'm farther, hang on. I'm farther than I thought I was. Yeah, I actually think I'm in the middle of chapter nine. I guess I was only two chapters behind, but I'm like 97, 98% or percent bitch pages what the fuck 98 pages through this book um so far i'm enjoying it i don't know if i would say as much as the first one because i'm really not that far into it um, i like luke i like willa i like everybody in the story and i just it's funny too like i'm lol -y. i'm not gonna record myself reading because honestly i'm so fucking tired from barely sleeping last night and then my toddler wouldn't take a nap today so I'm gonna probably just read on my Kindle, turn off the lights, and just get cozy. But tomorrow, I plan on escaping this house and taking a mommy break because I desperately need one after the weekend we had and being sick. He's gonna take the child. I'm gonna go fuck off. I'm gonna go <laughs> fuck off. What the hell? I'm gonna go to my mom's house and I'm gonna work on I have to edit a video. That's priority number one, uno. But I also am gonna film a little bit tomorrow at my mom's of me reading this book. So I'm gonna read the second one. I'll get back to you, give you my uh, reveal. And then that's gonna be the end of this video because I already feel like this video is gonna take me 12 years to edit. It's taken me 12 years to record it. So uh, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Oh my god, I don't know what that was. I'm weird, okay? I'm sick. Leave me alone. Hey guys, I look rough right now, and that is because I am still sick. Whatever I have is a little cold, and I'm just, I also started my period today. I'm gonna be transparent as fuck with y'all. I started my period today, I feel like I've been hit by a fucking Mack truck double whammy. So, we're hanging on by a thread. You did see a clip earlier. That was me reading at my mom's house because I needed some peace and quiet to get some things done. I wanted to edit a video and kind of just relax, and that's very hard to do with a toddler who literally is attached to your hip 24 7 so I took a little mommy break at my mom's house and I didn't really say anything and just recorded myself reading because my sister was there and she has a newborn baby and he was just snoozing away so I was like let me just take a real small clip of me reading I have gotten very far in heartless I am I am almost halfway oh showed you the wrong way I am only almost halfway I love love this series like I really think this is gonna be another five star for me. I feel like I rate things so easily because I'm just really honestly easy to please as a reader. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this. I love Kate and Willa. I love their banter back and forth. I think they're hilarious. And Luke, he's precious. I just really honestly feel like shit right now. I'm really tired. So I'm gonna just lay down and read on my Kindle like I normally do. And I'll update you guys honestly probably tomorrow. I know this vlog kind of went downhill fast. And that's honestly because I'm so sick and I just don't feel like myself. I'm breaking out. It's just, it's a grand time to be here. Not to mention coughing hurts. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna read. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys. So it is now, what day is it? It's Wednesday, July 12th. I feel like I've been filming this video for years actually. I am still sick and I meant to film earlier today, but when I tell you I've had a fucking day, I've had a fucking day. First of all, my toddler, while I was cooking dinner, grabbed a shelf that is like a corner shelf so it's not very sturdy and I keep like plant propagations on the top shelf thingy. So they're, they're glass bottles basically. And for some reason she decided to grab that shelf and I've told her a million times don't touch it, don't touch it, it will fall, it will fall. She did it. So glass bottles went falling, glass went everywhere, she was standing right by it. I was so freaking scared that you know, she was gonna get cut, and she only got a few little cuts, a little nicks, but she's okay, we're good, everything's good over here. It was just like one thing after another, and I don't feel good, so it was just, tonight was just shit, if I'm being honest. I was gonna film earlier, but she was like all up in my business, and I just don't feel comfortable putting my kid like on the internet, like 
24 7 i don't know that's just me so most of the time you're gonna see me at nighttime or nap time and we haven't been napping because i don't know I really couldn't tell you why she hasn't been taking naps, but she hasn't. So you're pretty much going to see me at nighttime for this whole video. <laughs> so I am pretty freaking far into Heartless. Okay, I'm on page 349. So I've got a hundred so pages left. And I want to finish this book tonight. I'm really hoping I can. I don't have that much longer. I've been listening to the audiobook a lot. I thought Rhett had a dirty mouth. No, Cade had a dirty mouth. Has a worse mouth. Oh my god. Some of the shit he says to Willa, I'm just like, let me drop my panties right here right now for this fictional man because like and just the way he loves his kid like the single dad trope it really does it for me okay it really gets my mom panties wet that makes sense i don't know why i just said that but you know i love the relationship between willa and luke i think they are so fucking precious like so sweet so i'm at the part where it's the birthday party for luke if you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna read out here tonight just to switch things up a bit. Normally I do go to my bed like right away because I'm just done with, done with the day, honestly. Fucking over it. Fingers crossed crushed fingers crossed i can it is only like 8 11 so if i have like two hours left i think that's what my audiobook said oh i have an hour and 48 minutes left bet i could finish this book tonight so i will see you when i finish this book <laughs> Spend more the woman I want I wanted but wouldn't let myself have. We just stuffed her panties inside her mouth because she wouldn't stop talking. Why do I want that done to me? Something's not right in my head. Oh, he's gonna fuck her in the kitchen. Why well, everybody's at his kid's birthday party? I won't be what? I want to be Willa. I think I'm in love. Bro, Katie in his top tier. Top tier right now. Fuck what I said about Rhett. This motherfucker. He's got the filthiest mouth. It's always the grumpy ones who have the filthiest mouths. <laughs> no, I want it all. I want it all. <laughs> I want the house, the ranch, the babies. I want it all. You want me? Okay guys, so it's finally time to wrap this fucking video up. I feel like I've been filming it for at least 13 years. Not really, but honestly. It is now Thursday, July 13th at 8 o'clock, okay? We already know why we're here at 8 o'clock at night. My child is down for bed and this is when I get the peace and quiet I need. <laughs> I finished Heartless last night. That is the second book in the Chestnut Spring series and I'm just gonna stop this vlog here because bitch this is already gonna be a lot of footage for me to sit here and edit and I ain't got I ain't got the time. I got a toddler. I got a boyfriend. I got a life. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to see another video where I review the other two books just give this video a thumbs up and I will do that for you. Back on to Heartless. Oh my gosh. Did I think I loved Flawless? Yes. I gave it five stars. I thought it was incredible. But after reading Heartless, I changed everything. All my answers. I changed it all. Kate Eaton, he can be eating on me all night because baby, the mouth on that man, it's just, there were times I was giggling and kicking my fucking feet because this man was just saying the right shit at the right time. And I think the single dad trope just really does it to me. Like it really just it does it. It drives it home. It was just so good. I loved him and Willa's connection, their relationship. It was just, ah. They were so cute. They were everything. And I love Luke. I'm a sucker for little kids in books. I'm not even gonna play. I love little kids in books. Always have. So this book was just, it was everything. Although, because I'm not like a country girl, okay, um, I don't really understand what Cade does. He, I think he ropes cattle. I don't know. I may be wrong, but that's what I'm going with. I 
absolutely devoured this these two books honestly fast as fuck for me because i barely have time to fucking read okay i bought both the audiobooks as well because bitch one thing about me if i can find the audiobook i'm probably gonna fucking buy it because half the time i can just put an earbud in and clean the house and do what i need to do while taking care of my child and listening to a book at the same time like name a better duo that's how i keep my sanity so i gotta be honest with y'all i'm gonna give this one a five stars and i'm gonna give flawless upside down bitch i'm gonna give flawless a four stars because i don't really think about summer and rhett as much as i do as kate and willa i really just loved willow's personality too like she was just such a go with the flow i don't give a fuck kind of bitch like and the fact that she pushed a kid into a pool because he was bullying luke the little boy who was kate's son bitch same if someone bullies my kid <laughs> get a boxing ring because i'm ready to go i don't care if you're a kid as well you're gonna learn how to treat a human like a fucking human not be a dick and try to drown them okay we gotta stop talking about it because i'm gonna get too far and then you'll know too much anywho i fucking loved it i loved it i can't wait to get too powerless and reckless Ugh. i'm really excited for reckless because i thought i heard reckless is about winter and theo but winter was married ah so many i'm so confused okay so i'm excited to find that out and then i'm really excited for powerless as well because you don't get much about jasper you don't get much about jasper in sloan but like i need to know what the fuck happened there because there's some tension and i gotta know and she's engaged wait what i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up it always helps me to know if you're liking the content i'm putting out if you like these fucking reading vlogs because bitch these take a hella lot of time i don't know how you booktubers do it because this took forever i also am really excited because i have another video in mind that will probably be uploading after this one i still gotta record it but bitch it's gonna come and i'm so excited for it yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i already said that bitch get your shit together don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my video I'm really tired and I'm still kind of sick. I've been sick basically this whole fucking reading vlog. Comment down below your favorite Chestnut Springs book, okay? Because I want to know. I need to know. Which one is your favorite? Because right now mine is, mine is definitely Heartless, okay? I thought the first one was my favorite. This one came and stole the show. I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye. My nose is so stuffy. Like, I'm so, so stuffy. Okay, bye.